Hi, hello everyone. This is Kimon. I'm going to tell you a little bit about how to use the Zoom uh, tool as part of your live teaching just in case you would like to have a live session with a student. Now, just go to zoom.us and you will see this page. Um, Zoom is not totally free, but the free account allows you to interact with uh, up to 100 participants or 100 students and it's limited to 40 minutes all right so just sign up if you have if you don't have an account yet and then uh, log in so i'm going to log in because i have an account already so you can sign in using a manual way or sign in with google or facebook i do recommend sign in with google i'm going to sign in with google Log in, you will see this blank page. So just click schedule a new meeting and type in the topic. For example, week eight online class or PBL. Give a bit of description. This is set the time. It's highly recommended that you use the normal lecture hours so that the student can come and log in at the same time zoom basic has only 40 minute limit so you might want to change it to 45 so because it will end by 40 minutes uh, so what you can do is if you need to talk more than 40 minutes all you have to do is to have two sessions so for example you can name this as part one you have a break maybe and then ask them to log in again for part two just assume that you have a break in between so that you don't have to schedule uh, the very long sessions this is for those who need to talk for more than 40 minutes or need to interact for more than 40 minutes so you can chunk them up into part one part two and part three even multiple meetings that would solve the problem of the limitation in terms of the time so uh, the rest of the setting you don't have to change much except for all this i do recommend you to Tick enable to join before host means student can join before you they, they can wait for you so you can enable waiting room and also mute participant upon entry means that they can't talk until you allow them to talk and this is also highly recommended record the meeting automatically on the local computer so you can record and save the video in your computer and then um, if you need to upload it to somewhere then you can still upload it or let the student review for those who miss the session for example Right, this is a very good option to, to, to enable safe and you will have this you will just have to share the URL to your students right uh, copy this and share it on your elite for example or even share it to uh, the whatsapp group and so on all right if um, if they if they don't want to use the direct URL they just have to click join the meeting up here and then key in the meeting ID Either way is the same, right? So let's um, um, find this out. Start this meeting. You will see this. It will prompt you to install Zoom meetings. So just open Zoom meetings if you are using Chrome, which is highly recommended. If you, you are using Zoom, Chrome is the best browser for, for Zoom. Then this will pop up. All right, so students will see the same thing. So they can decide whether they want to join with computer audio or not. If they want then they can just click join notice that zoom is already recording the session so you can enlarge this right so the speaker icon is down here video is disabled let's say if I enable then you'll be able to see me for a while right and then you can invite participant by clicking this one if you want to uh, do manual invitation or else just give them the link you can manage participant you can see the participant here so far it's me of course the host you can chat this is good for those who uh, do not want to show their face so you can just say hello everyone they can type the question there and from time to time you can see the, the questions that they ask you can also see the pause and record button here where you are uh, recording the whole session right if you click share you can decide to share the screen that you are using so you can also use whiteboard where you will able to scribble anything 
right? And then the student will be able to see the same thing, right? So you can stop share and uh, back to uh, other things. For example, share, you can also share files. If you are using PowerPoint, you can upload your PowerPoint to Google Drive, right? Um, advanced setting will allow you to share other control like second camera and all that but basically this is what you can do with uh, zoom all right i hope this is useful for you try it out all right um, zoom has been doing quite well in allowing live teaching to work um, for for quite some time so you might want to consider using zoom for your live teaching that's all for me thank you very much for watching